This is the Perrine number 57, the reel I've been going to be using in this video. A couple of days fishing and uh, mo crappie fishing. And uh, talk a little bit about the reel and do some fishing. I fish through this here timber. I was using something smaller. Definitely would get more. It looks like he's a keeper sized fish. It looks like a heavy leader on. Yeah, it's, it's about eight, about ten inches. It's a little, little one. Wait, that's a little, little crappie. I got quite a bit of line out and uh, working a bit of water. And it seems to be all different, all different sizes today. It's the smallest one yet. It's almost nine. I'm also using a perine. Number 57, automatic flight. I'm so showing you the reel. Perrine number 57, automatic fly fishing reel. Same concept as the Martin, and I am liking it. Um, a nice size reel. A little bulkier with a smaller, with a thinner arbor, a thinner spool than uh, my Martin. But I'm fishing with a uh, floating fly line, and I might use this one as my weighted reel. But this is the Perrine number 57 fly fishing reel. Took a lot of water. Need to be small. It's still a nice one. Definitely a keeper. I was just going to change the color over to black. It seems to be liking the green too. Well, I'm going to stick with this. It's getting dark, so. Oh, big, big ones. Really decent ones. That's a nice fish. Bigger than I thought. Ooh, got one. Wow, these are nice ones today. I was just going to talk about that reel and hooked into this guy. fish. Beauties today. So I was going to talk about the reel and I got hammered there. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. But it's just your standard automatic. Got the release to retrieve your line in. Um, loaded with a spring. Has planetary gears. Um, same basic setup as the Martin um, inside it has almost a any reverse catch on the spool inside the spool so it's a little different um, than the other one I was using and of course it has a, a spring release here and a spool release over here but uh, real simple reels to use they seem to see the, the green orange just fine but I'm going to try a green-yellow. Sometimes they go nuts for that. So, I'm going to give that a whirl. And go with a green. 
green yellow see if they do any faster with that this is when I get my hits we're going to talk about the this is the Perrine automatic uh, fly fishing reel number 57 um, a nice shape model um, Allerton um, labs uh, Perrine kind of changed their name these reels came with a lifetime warranty and, and this one but it's an automatic fly fishing reel and then you can see it is just perfectly doing the job I love these automatic reels and this one I got a couple now I just fell in love with them and I got a couple of them now this one I am probably going to use for my sinking line it's a little thinner the sinking line that spool on there is a little narrower than my Martin that I like to use too so I'm going to switch those lines out but I'm just playing with this today using it for the crappie and I am using a floating line today and I have a fairly big leader um, 15 pounds on the top so 20 pounds in the middle 30 pounds on the end the butt section and I think it's about well I started longer now it's Starting with a float, clouser. Might take that float off here. I see what's going on here. Here, pretty sure we have crappie. That's a nice one. take that float off. I'm going to remove the clouds in minnow and my sunglasses are off so it's about the time when anything big is going to be jumping about. It should be soon. Maybe we'll get one more. Who knows? A couple ways to fish these automatic reels. Um, I think a lot of people what they do is you get your working bit of line out and you just fish and you have that spring loaded tension and if we're going to be moving oh got one if we're going to be moving so you can even play the fish on the spring I, I kind of like hand lining them in but you basically will I like to hand line them in but you can have fun and zip them in if you want I think you got a little bit more control with your line hand but that's about it um, the adva advantage of this these I think is ooh, there we, oh there oh oh god that was a big one the advantage of these here is when you're getting ready to go you can just zip that line there we go we got him you can zip that line right straight in and move what I do um, you can have fun with them and bring those fish in with them too I don't think that See there, he's hit on the bottom. I think those are pickle, pickle bites. A little mark there. 
one thing to note about these automatic reels is um, if you are into the IGFA stuff, it's an automatic reel. So your fish is not going to qualify for the books. So just something to keep in mind if you're looking for IGFA records. I believe when using automatic fly fishing reels, um, it's disqualified for the books. Not that it didn't happen, but if you're into paper and ink, that's what they do. The Perrine, it's just a standard automatic fly reel, good lever, when you're ready to go, zip up your line. You're fishing long, you can load and unload the spring. A little release over here. You're going to be working, say, 90 feet of line. And get your line out, release that tension. You're fishing short, keep the tension, pick up and move. Really good stuff. Let's see. Now I put on that other clouser. They, uh, either they moved or they don't like my new yellow white clouds. I might go with a green yellow before I might go with a green yellow. So. Bank nicely. Crappie are definitely out and about. It's too fun. Hard to switch things out. <laughs> but uh might try. It's gonna be right there. Come on. Alright, time. The sun is setting, so I wanted to work something low. And a lot of water. That's the methodology. There we go. Here we got our fill. I thought that was a branch. Okay, enough proppy business. That is the Perrine number 57 automatic fly fishing reel. I hope you enjoyed the video.